plot and graphs of equations in the form y equals mx plus c. Learning objectives, by the end of this section you should be able to find the gradient of a line, state the equation of a line from its graph, plot a graph from an equation using the y-intercept and gradient. Gradient of a line. So here we have two lines. Are the lines going up or down? This line is going down and it's said to have a negative gradient. This one is going up and it has a positive gradient. The gradient of a line is measured from left to right. So if we pick a point on this line, as the point moves along the line from left to right, does it go up or down? It's moving along the line from left to right. It's gone up, which means this is a positive gradient. As it moves along the line from left to right, it goes down. So this is a negative gradient. What I'd like to do now is pause the videos, go through this and say whether you think each of the lines have got positive or a negative gradient. Once you've done that, restart the video and we'll go through the answers. So A is a negative gradient, B negative, C positive, D positive, E negative, F positive, G is negative, H is positive and I is negative. So here we have three lines. How steep are they? The gradient is a mathematical method of quantifying the steepness of a line. The gradient is the ratio between the vertical change, the rise, and the horizontal change, the run, of any two points on the line. Gradient equals rise over run. So here we have a line section. To measure the gradient, we find two points on the line that cross the intersections of the grid. So here we have two points and they are exactly where the vertical and horizontal lines on the grid cross. The gradient is the vertical change over the horizontal change. So we have a rise of 1 and a run of 2. That gives us a gradient of rise over run of 1 over 2. You can use any two points on the line, the gradient remains constant. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter whereabouts we measure this gradient, it will always be the same if it's a straight line. So we have another two points. This time we have a rise of 4 and a run of 8, which gives us a gradient of 4 over 8, and this simplifies down to 1 over 2. Now, measure the gradient, find two points on the line across the intersections of the grid, exactly. There's our two points. The gradient is the vertical change over the horizontal change. So the vertical change is a rise of minus 9 and a run of 6. So the gradient is minus 9 over 6, which simplifies down to minus 3 over 2. Again, our vertical change is minus 6. The run is 3. This gives us a gradient of minus 6 over 3, which is minus 2. Vertical change is a rise of 6, and the horizontal change is a run 
of 2. So our gradient is 6 over 2, which simplifies down to 3. So what I'd like to do is to pause the video, go through this and work out the gradients of each of the lines. Once you've done that, start the video again and we'll go through some answers. So for A, we have minus 3 over 2. For B, minus 1 over 3. C is minus 3. D is 1. E is 2. G is minus 2 over 3. G is minus 1. And finally H is 3 over 4. Hopefully you got them right. If you didn't, go back, have a look at them again, and have another go. So, two rather strange ones here. What's the gradient of these lines? Well, the horizontal line has a rise of zero, meaning that the gradient is zero, because the, gra the gradient is rise over run. So if the rise is always zero, no matter what we divide it by, it will always be zero. So a horizontal line has a gradient of zero. The vertical one, well, the vertical one has a run of zero. So we can't divide by zero, meaning the gradient is undefined. Because no matter where we measure it from, the run is zero, which is on the bottom. So whatever rise we've got divided by zero, we can't do it. So this is, the gradient is undefined. Equation of a line from its graph. So what is the equation of a straight line? We should remember this, or hopefully we do. It's y equals mx plus c. And in this, what is the value of c in relation to the graph? c is the y-intercept, the point at which that graph crosses the y-axis. Uh, what is the value of m in relation to the graph? M is the gradient. So if we have a line here, to write the equation of that, we need to say what is the gradient of the graph? So we pick two points, doesn't matter where they are. We have a rise of 8, a run of 4, gives us a gradient of rise over run. 8 over 4, which simplifies down to 2. So we can write the first part of the equation of the line, which is y equals 2x. And next, what is the y-intercept? Well, the y-value, when this line crosses the line, is y equals 1. So we can now complete the equation, y equals 2x plus 1. So what I'd like you to do again is pause the video, Go through this, no, don't bother sketching them down, just uh, write the letters and say what the equations of the lines are. Once you've done that, play the video again and we'll mark the answers. So A, y equals minus 2 over 3x plus 5. B, y equals 1 over 5x plus 2. C, y equals minus 1 over 3x minus 3. And finally, D, y equals 3x plus 4. So plotting a graph by y-intercept and gradient. So given an equation in the form y equals mx plus c, if c is a value which should be accurately plotted on our y-axis, the graph can be plotted by marking the y-intercept and then using the gradient to find another point on the line. It doesn't necessarily have to be an integer, c, but it has to be something we can plot on the y-axis. So if it's a decimal, we need a much larger scale on the uh, y-axis. So plot the graph of y equals 2 over 3x minus 3. Mark the y-intercept on the graph. So here, the y-intercept is the c value, which is minus 3. 
and what we do here we mark another point on the line by using the gradient from the y-intercept so from the y-intercept it's got a gradient of 2 over 3 which means a rise of 2 and then a run of 3 so rise of 2 run of 3 mark that point use a ruler to draw a line passing through both of these points and it's always a good idea to always label your lines once you've um, drawn them plot the graph of y equals minus 4 over 5x plus 5 so mark the y intercept on the graph which in this case is 5 and now we're going to mark another point on the line by using the gradient so here the gradient is minus 4 over 5 which means we'll come down 4 from the y intercept and then across 5 so there's our rise of minus 4 and a run of 5. Use a ruler, draw a line passing through both of the points. And as before, always label the line. Plot the graph for y equals 2x minus 1 so again we should be getting the hang of this now mark the y intercept on the graph which is minus 1 when the gradient is an integer you might find it easier to write it as over 1 you don't have to but we've got a definite um, rise and run here so while you're not confident it's new to you it's always worth doing that so now we're going to mark another point on the line using the gradient so our rise is 2 and our run is 1 so we're going to come a rise of 2, a run of 1, mark that point, and then using a ruler, we're going to draw a line passing through both points. And as before, always label the line. Plot the graph of y equals minus 3x. So write the gradient over 1 to make the rise and run more obvious, as I've said. But here, what is the y-intercept of this line? Well, if c hasn't got a value, it must be 0. So that means it crosses at the origin. So we'll mark the y-intercept on the graph. And mark another point on the line by using the gradient. So it's a rise of minus 3, so down 3 and across 1. So rise, minus 3, a run of 1. Use a ruler, draw a line passing through both points. And label a line. So plot a graph by y-intercept and gradient. So a few things we need to bear in mind while we're doing this. So a few top tips. When y equals minus 3x plus 4, if the gradient is an integer, write it over 1. It just makes the rise and the run more obvious. You don't have to do it, but it's not a bad idea. y equals 5x. If there's no value for c, the y-intercept is 0. Again, you don't have to write the plus 0 in there, but it might help if you do. So here, this is more to do with typesetting that is to do with maths but here we've got y equals minus 2 over 3x plus 3 um, does the negative sign refer to the of the gradient does it refer to the rise or the run well the run always goes from left to right it doesn't have a positive or negative therefore if there is a negative sign it always refers to the rise y equals x plus 3 again what's the gradient of this line if there isn't a gradient there then it's 1 or 1 over 1 depends how you choose to write it and lastly if you see something like this it's not a harder question and there aren't any actually in this video but something to bear in mind is that this part here it's not telling you to do anything differently it's just telling you to only draw the line between the lines x equals 4 and x equals 7. This can help when working out the scale to um, draw your grid to. 
So what I'd like you to do is on some squared paper, draw a set of axes and plot the graphs. You could do them all on one or do them on separate ones, depends how crowded you feel it's getting. But uh, do that, once you've done it, play the video again and compare your answers to mine. Right, so for question one, we've got y equals 2 over 3x plus 3. Question two. And again, there's a few things here, the, the key things. Look at the y-intercept. Is it positive? Is it negative? And these are just little clues to see whether you've done it right or wrong. Number three. Number four. And number five. Let's have a quick look at them. Compare them to your answers. Hopefully you've got them right. If not, go back and just see where did you get them wrong. What have you done? Just give me a different answer to mine. Right. So here's another four or another five for you to do. Again, pause the video plot your graphs and then come back and see what answers you got or compare the answers. So question one. Two. Three. Four. Finally, five. Again, hopefully you got them all right. If not, uh, look back at your working out, look at your graphs and see if you can spot where you made a mistake. So plotting a graph by y-intercept and gradient. So here we have 2y minus 10 equals 4x. In order to plot the graph of this equation, it must be written in the form y equals mx plus c. So in effect, what we're going to do is rearrange the formula or the equation to make y the subject. So very simple algebra here. Add 10 to both sides. We now have 2y equals 4x plus 10. Divide both sides by 2. We have y equals 2x plus 5. So whenever you see it, if there's X and Y is involved, try and get it so it's Y equals MX plus C. From then, we can just sketch, sketch or plot the graph. So we can now plot this graph using the Y-intercept and gradient. Right, so going through some of the questions, the answers rather. Question one, we have Y equals 2X plus 4. Question two y equals 2 over 3x plus 3, 3, y equals minus 4 over 5x plus 2, question 4, y equals 3 over 4x plus 2, question 5, y equals minus 5 over 4x plus 2, question 6, y equals minus 2 over 3x plus 6, 7, y equals minus 3 over 5x. Question 8, y equals minus 3 over 2x plus 4. Uh, lastly, question 9, slightly trickier. What you had to do really was to divide both sides through by x and then it becomes fairly straightforward. So our answer is y equals 2 over 3x plus 4. Right, hopefully you found this uh, video helpful. Uh, if you're stuck on anything, go back, do it again. It is going to be difficult learning from a distance, but and you may find that you have to go through these videos two or three times before you actually um, get the hang of it.